for the family of the Pangani three, Michael Njau, Adnan Mohammed, and Samuel Mungai. It's three months too long, separated from their loved ones, not knowing whether they still breathe or whether they are no more. And though they still grasp to hope, optimistic that their loved ones will be found, they say that the weight is what is killing their spirits after many false hopes in the past. Was that at the mortuaries? Anne Jerry, husband to Michael Njau, one of the Pangani three, says she is lost for words. This period has been the worst, traumatizing, tough experience with sleepless nights, loss of appetite and getting sick. This has also also led us to getting psychological help. Far too long, demanding answers from the police, following claims that they may be victims of extrajudicial killings or even forced disappearances. Every day, how do you tell a four-year-old child about his father's whereabouts? Yet, you have no answer. The case first reported at the Roma police station was handed over to the Pangani police station and subsequently to the Thika police station. Months of investigations are however proving futile. Also, we are requesting that this case be taken to the highest authority office of the DCI director, Mr. George Kinoti. According to the Kiamaiko Social Justice Center, the biggest impediment of the investigations are those deemed to uphold the rule of law, the police. The organization says this year alone, 95 people have been killed with police justifying the incidents. 51 they have justified as anti-crime operations, while 17 of these were directly related to enforcement of COVID-19 regulation. 13 of the 17 victims were tortured to death, while the four others were shot. Fatafatu na polisi kila wakati na tukijaribu kuongea pia ni kama tunapumbazwa sauti zetu haziwezi kusikika. Two months ago, Yasin Moyo, a 13-year-old boy, was gunned down by police while at his home in Kiamaiko. Yesterday, meanwhile, the DPP approved the arrest and prosecution of the officer involved in the killing. Na pia ni kitu liku metuweka na ufu wakati ujamaa kwa meshikuwa. Juni mtu bado walikuwa kwa station, hako amd, mimi si mjui na yana nijua. Lakini sahi kwa sahi ni mwona taro wangu imetulia, familia wangu imetulia. Pia wale watu walikuwa na jua ya sina dunia pia imeona kweli haki imeanza kutendeka. They say justice delayed is justice denied. For the families of the missing persons, however, the battle for justice continues. This they say is their right. Shukri Wachu, K24 TV.